And I'll, uh, now I'll talk about one project in more details. Uh, that's also Baltica is uh, a client of ours. In this case, this is pure transportation logistics. And in this case, simulation model is uh, a part of operating environment in Baltica. So uh, the actual decisions that are made uh, on both, let's say, short-term, daily, uh, daily planning and in mid-term, two months planning are made with the help of a simulation model. So what's Baltica? Baltica has um, huge logistics, beer logistics, um, own fleet of 150, uh, 1.5 thousand rail cars. And um, the op transportation optim optimization is a big, uh, big thing because a lot of money can be saved if you do things just a slightly more, uh, in a slightly better way. So, um, input data, how much beer to ship, to, to deliver, uh, constraints, storage capacities. Some clients only accept trucks and don't have uh, rail. Uh, some technology constraints, uh, beer cannot be shipped long for longer than 10 days and but if you have thermo insulated car it's uh, it's longer etc cetera, etc cetera. but it's in the winter time of course uh, beer can be warmed up on the way then it can ship longer but then it costs more etc cetera, etc cetera. a lot of uncertainty travel times loading and unloading and if the logistics includes uh, crossing national border there's a huge delays associated with and a huge uncertainty associated with the, the fact that the, the uh, rail car crosses the border. Objectives, uh, deliver beer to the clients and uh, minimize the transportation costs. Decision points, use our own rail car or rent a car. Use rail or use truck or use vessel. Again, time of year matters here. Um, when the car gets idle, which way should I send it? Here or there? So this is obviously a very, very uh, uh, daily um, opera uh, operational level stuff. So what we actually did, we, uh, the first thing we did for Baltica, we built a midterm uh, decision support system. Uh, which was used on a um, bi-monthly basis. So every, every 60, uh, 60 days is the period the Baltica plans uh, mid-term logistics, uh, uh, logistic for the next, uh, next 60 days. Uh, this decision support system was not just a simulation model, but many things around it. And the output was... Uh, which transport to use, transportation plan by decade, let's say from St. Petersburg to Novosibirsk, five regular rail cars plus one special car, uh, and also uh, estimation of transportation cost. Important thing that Baltica did, does have uh, and ERP systems in, uh, installed there. In this case, this is Oracle SNO, Strategic Network Optimizer. That's a good uh, modern ERP system. And it, in fact, it does include uh, logistics optimization module, but the methods that are used there cannot deal really with dynamic systems. So they're like linear optimization methods, uh, so simpler stuff that cannot really capture the complexity. They can, can optimize the, uh, the transportation, but only to a certain level. Above that, no. So if you want to further you know, save money and fine tune things, you need to, uh, to use different methods. So what we did, it is not a replacement for their uh, ERP, uh, of course not. It's an additional module, let's say a business intelligence module that helps Oracle SNO to, uh, to manage uh, the transportation in the company.
So uh, what our solution actually does, it takes the uh, current state, let's say in the beginning of the planning period, and uh, builds a trajectory. Trajectory means, okay, how do we use our fleet of cars to transport beer? And then, okay, we arrived here, and this is our target. This is the difference. So probably we have not fulfilled our target completely, our, our plan, but we're pretty close. Uh, heuristics is critical word here. The project was full of heuristics developed by, uh, <clears throat> by modelers in, uh, uh, in a team with the uh, Baltica experts. So when making the uh, decisions, the simulation model actually does execute some heuristics. This is the architecture of the solution optimizer, heuristics, and then the actual simulation model. The number of parameters is huge. You cannot give optimizer 1,000 parameters. You cannot even give optimizer 20 parameters. That's just too, too many. So this heuristics level actually reduces the parameter space of the problem from thousands to probably a couple, five. And five can well be managed by the optimizer. So the optimizer executes the model, assesses the result, changes parameters, runs the model again, so actually tunes the heuristics to uh, while searching for the optimal transportation plan for the, uh, for the next two months. Cost is one of the objectives, so actually, uh, and this picture just shows that cost is one of the input to the optimizer. Let's say uh, cost is calculated by the simulation model and provided to the optimizer. So, the, yes? Could you please clarify what you mean by heuristics? Oh, right. Okay. Uh, again, let's say <clears throat> this is morning. Uh, we know where all of our, you know, where all our rail cars are located. How many in St. Petersburg? How many, I don't know, in Novosibirsk? How many in Kaluga, etc.? And we know, well, some cars are traveling, some cars are being, uh, you know, unloading, loading, some are just unloaded and are empty. What to do? Where to send them? Let's say, uh, heuristic may be, always send uh, an empty rail car, to the nearest station where it will be needed within the next two days. A rule like that. Uh, or it may be more complicated, but this is something that, uh, okay, before that system was actually installed, how the whole fleet was managed? Actually by people based on their experience. Because, and so our job was to convert their experience into good heuristics, and then even, you know, uh, improve those heuristics by using the simulation and optimization. So heuristics are simple rules based on common sense or experience. In this case, uh, rules were, you know, related to how do we, where to like, uh, where do we send the rail car that just got idle at a certain, certain station. Maybe leave it there, and it will be, uh, or maybe send it to another, so things like that. Uh, just this thing may be interesting to you. Um, what is risk? You know, well, the risk, we talk about risk when, when you have uncertainty when something is not determined, non-deterministic, when uh, you don't know uh, what kind of things will happen, then we talk about risk, right? So our system, uh, the transportation system, where uh, the, uh, is highly non-deterministic, is highly stochastic. Therefore, if we execute the simulation model once and we get a certain result, that does not mean that, that that's the, <clears throat> that result will always be like that. 
it can be different if we just run the model with the same parameters next time just because the model is stochastic. And when optimizing problems uh, like that or systems like that, we need to uh, take care of this uncertainty. Therefore, what optimizer does for every parameter set, optimizer runs the model many times and instead of you know, obtaining just one result, obtains a family of results. Another parameter set will generate another family of results. And then your risk is the probability, the measure of risk in this case is the probability of failure. Let's say this is our ideal target and this is acceptable range, right? So, and we're comparing two solutions, this solution and that solution. And in this case, this solution is not acceptable. Although there are uh, individual realizations that have, they are very good and probably even better than any of those, but there is a high probability that we will be uh, result in unacceptable uh, range. Well, physically, that actually does mean that we probably will be late to deliver beer to that many clients or uh, unacceptably late, something like that. So, uh, optimization under uncertainty means we need to execute uh, the model many times, obtain the uh, statistics on this family of results and compare not the individual runs but the distribution. Am I making sense here? Okay, good. Uh, that's the resulting architecture. So there's ERP system that installed in there. There's a database, uh, of course, and this is our module, which you can consider as additional business intelligence module that contains the simulation model, heuristics, and the optimizer. In this particular project, most of uh, intellectual efforts were here. The model itself, it's uh, big, but it's a uh, pretty straightforward model. Uh, the heuristics level was uh, really, uh, <clears throat> really non-trivial. And um, yeah, that's, I'll probably skip that slide. Uh, just to finalizing this uh, particular example, savings in transportation costs uh, can be uh, up to 10%, which is huge in, in terms of in terms of like dollars. It's it's uh, millions. 